Howdy guys. Okay, here's a little bit of an update. It's been a while, so here's where the uh, work on the cab has got to at the moment on this uh, Grundig 3028. Um, so a lot of the structural stuff should be done now. So there was a major bow on the top of the um, of the case here. So that's been uh, corrected, so it's nice and flat and horizontal along the top. Um, I managed to steam out quite a few of the dents and things that are on the top um, and patched the um, the piece that was very badly dented um, and so uh, I just put a coat of shellac on it just um, so you can start to see what it's gonna look like when it is uh, finished um, to fix the top edge which was very you know badly damaged I decided to keep it simple, um, so basically just has just has a very small 45 degree bevel um, all around the top edge, and it basically eliminates almost all of the imperfections um, and its minimum disruption to the rest. Um, so the bottom surface, unfortunately, is in um, somewhat worse condition. So I have to put a, uh, a binding strip along the bottom. Um, this bottom area here on the uh, on the left side uh, from the front was probably the worst. So there's various um, veneer patches. I don't know if you can see them on the video. Uh, I guess hopefully not, but <laughs> there are a few uh, veneer patches to repair uh, along here. And so, uh, in case anybody's interested, the way I... So the binding channel is cut here at the moment, and it's taped off. Um, because when I put the um, the binding on, I'll use um, a sort of a plastic cement type glue to fix it on there. And uh, I didn't want that getting into the grain, because that would then affect the ultimate finish. And so uh, I needed to uh, seal the wood first. We just get the uh, binding. So this is the binding. So it's a plastic binding with a, uh, a sort of a black white black uh, sandwich to it. And so that'll go along here and it, it won't be that big. It'll be a little bit uh, thinner when it's done. And uh, the uh, cutting of the uh, channel is a two-phase process so this is like a uh, a binding cutter where you can adjust the distance of the cutters from the reference uh, piece on the top there and you get a little allen screws on each side and then when you hold it against the surface and along it will just score um, score the uh, surface so that uh, your router doesn't uh, you don't see any tear out um, so that's the first phase of the process, and then the second phase is with the Dremel um, with a uh, binding attachment on the end. And so the depth of the cut, if you like, is set by um, exactly how you fit the uh, router bit into the chuck. And then the thickness is set by this little screw mechanism which adjusts basically uh, the uh, little follower roller which will run along the surface and um, yeah I have to say the uh, veneer wood here is very very soft and uh, I suspect it had started to just generally deteriorate um, and so uh, a lot of it wasn't glued down very a lot of the glue had come undone so I had to um, get a lot of this veneer sitting back down properly um, before I could go any further um, mostly worked um, but still work to do so next stage is put on that binding strip along the bottom and then uh, cut it and trim it down um, and then there'll probably be another round of sanding um, and then start on the finishing uh, proper so uh, there we go a lot more work and taking a lot longer time than I originally expected but at least it's starting to look respectable at this point and uh, you start to get a sense of what the thing is going to look like uh, when it's done. So, next is the binding. 
Okay, so um, I've tacked on the binding um, all the way around, and so we let that dry for a couple of hours, and uh, and we'll uh, take it off and do all the trimming and sanding, and uh, hopefully it will uh, give us a nice a nice bottom edge here, so it'll look um, it'll look nice when it's done. Okay, um, black binding um, fixed to the base, so we have a, a nice solid edge around the bottom. Um, a few little bits of touch up to do. So uh, you can see a white line here where uh, there's a little bit of a void. It's me being paranoid about the fact that the veneer is so uh, fragile around this whole uh, front left corner, but um, Hopefully that won't be too bad. Right, I think uh, at this stage um, we can pretty much um, consider it ready uh, for final finish. Um, and so I'll uh, decide on what that's going to be. Um, it'll either be um, shellac like the last time, like the last one I did, or um, a gazillion coats of uh, water base lacquer um, sand it down probably give me a harder finish um, than the shellac right that's it for now guys